Well, good morning, my all talented grade one students. Welcome back to our science online class. This morning, we are going to study unit 4.2, that is about using materials. As you have already learned in previous session, there are a lot of materials around us, right? We have chairs, tables, book, marker, whiteboard. Okay, those are the materials and they are surrounding us. Okay, so today we are going to talk about properties of materials. We know that the materials can be strong, can be soft, can be smooth, can be flexible. So those, those are called uh, properties of materials. So flexible, strong, hard, soft, uh, rough, smooth, those, those are called properties of materials, right? And we have our, our picking up four, uh, four things to study today. We are going to talk about the first property that is called strong. So some materials are strong, right? The whiteboard is strong. It's strong, right? Even the marker is strong. I cannot, I cannot just break it. It's so strong. So some materials are strong. For example, wood and rock are strong. That's true. Look at the, the door or window that is made uh, of wood. It's so hard to break it, right? It's so hard, or we can say it is so strong. Even the rock, when we make the bench that is the bench that is made of rock and you want to break it, that won't be easy to break it, right? So rock and wood are strong, it's a strong, right? Soft. Uh, soft, as you have already learned, this is the word that opposite the word strong. So something which is very soft. For example, this one is very soft, right? This tissue is soft. Soft. The marker is strong. I cannot break it, right? This one is very soft. It is soft, right? Okay, so some fabrics are soft. Look at my clothes. It's soft, right? So fabric means the clothes. Did you, did you remember? Okay, so my, my clothes here, my t-shirt is soft, very soft. Tissue is soft, okay? Even the sofa is soft, right? Okay, so this is the property of our fabric. We get fabric, fabrics are soft. Some fabrics are soft, some fabrics are smooth, something like that, okay? And the third, fa the th the third property of our material is smooth. Smooth. Look at the whiteboard. Is the whiteboard smooth or rough? Smooth, right? See, it's very, very smooth, very slippery, it's smooth, right? So, plastic, the plastic is smooth, right? Plastic is smooth, even the glass. So, plastic and glass are smooth, okay? So, these, these materials are smooth. So, smooth is the property of this material, it's the property of plastic and, and glass, okay? And the last property that we are studying today is rough. Rough. So rough. Some of our objects or materials are rough, like fabrics. So yeah, I'm picking up my bag for you. So look at my bag here. It's made of our made that is made of fabric as well. It's very rough, not smooth. Not smooth. Okay. So some fabrics are rough. Even the rock, some rock are rough, that's not smooth. As long as you try to make it smooth, it's gonna be smooth. Okay, so these are the four properties of the materials that we are studying today. Okay, so what are they? Strong. Everyone says strong. Strong. Soft. Soft. Smooth. Smooth. Rough. Rough. So these are the four properties of the materials that we are studying. Okay. So there are more objects or materials that are stated in our textbook. Please open your textbook to page thirty-six. 
you will see a lot of uh, materials right there. Okay? Right, so try to remember that there are four properties that we are st studying today the properties of the materials. So, like strong, soft, smooth, and rough. These are the four properties of the material that we are studying. Okay? So, like strong, strong is the property of rock and wood, for example. Okay? And not only this, it can be a glass, also strong, the glass, also strong, right? Not only these two materials, not the, uh, these two basic of the materials, though there are more materials that are, you know, strong, and some of them are soft, some of them are smooth, and some of them are rough, okay? So try to remember, we have four properties of the material that we are studying today. Actually, we have more, but we are going to study next week, okay? Right, so when you are finished watching this video, please copy your lesson into your notebook, okay? And then please say, I am done, teacher will drop task 1 in the Telegram post. Please say, I'm done, and then teacher will drop task 1 for you all to complete, okay? Well, thank you for watching this first video clip. I'll see you in the last, oh no, in the second video clip. Hi there, welcome to our second video clip of our lesson. Right, so this is going to be your second activity that you need to complete right now. So I am giving you the task 2 to complete right away that is in your textbook. Can you please open or turn your book to page 36? Turn your book to page 36. Okay, so what are you, what are you going to do here is I want you to find the materials that are strong. Can you list down in your notebook? Find the materials that are strong, soft, smooth, and rough. Okay? So you can list down at least like three each of these properties. For example, our chair, table, okay, and our window, for example, you can say they are they are strong. Okay? So you can list down our the, the properties of materials right here, like strong, so what are the materials that are strong? Can you find them in the pictures? You will see the pictures here, they are the materials that are placed in the house. Can you try to look at this and find the materials? Uh, which materials that are strong, soft, smooth, and rough? Okay, so um, you can find the materials that are... okay. So, we just say strong. So, what are the materials that are strong? Okay, you can find three materials. Okay, okay, you can do like this. Okay, and then there are soft. Yeah, you can find three more. Okay, you can find a smooth. So, where are the materials that are smooth? Find three materials as well and draw. Okay, find three as well. Okay. Right, when you when you open your textbook to page 36, you will see a lot of materials that are placed in the house. Okay, so please try to find the materials that are strong, soft, smooth, and rough. Okay. This is going to be your task 2. I'll give you around 20 minutes to complete this task. When you get it done, please forward it to my personal telegram, okay? Please try to write it neatly and nicely, okay? Some of your classmates really have bad writing, so try to improve your handwriting, okay? So I will give you some extra marks on it. If you have a very neat and nice handwriting, I'll give you the extra points. Okay, so thank you. Uh, I'll see you in the last video clip. Hi everyone, welcome to our last episode of our lesson. So what did you guys learn today? Your lesson today is about 
uh, properties of materials. That is the section B of our lesson using materials, right? As we have known that there are many materials around us, okay? And those are the materials that have different properties. Some of them are strong, some of them are soft, smooth, rough, flexible, okay? So today we have learned four properties of the materials strong, uh, soft, smooth, and rough. That is example that is given right here, wood and rock are strong, right? Even the glass, the glass is also strong. Glass is strong and smooth, right? All right, and um, soft here, some fabric, the cloth, so fabrics, some fabrics are soft, some fabrics are rough and uh, smooth as well, okay? And smooth, plastic and glass are smooth. Okay. You can feel it, right? When you touch the, the, the plastic, the bottle of the water, it is made of plastic, right? When you touch it, you feel like it's smooth. Even this marker, it is smooth, right? It is made of the plastic. And glass, look at the whiteboard glass board here, is smooth as well. So plastic and glass are smooth. Rough, they some fabrics are rough, yes, as I tell you, like uh, my backpack is not smooth, it's rough, okay. Right, so there are so many materials around us and they have different properties, okay. The state of it are different, like they're strong, they're soft, they're smooth, they're rough, okay. So after finishing this uh, video, when you finish watching this video, please Tell me or say I'm done in the group, I will upload the homework in the Telegram, okay? So try to watch this video until the end and then just say I am done, teacher will post or upload the homework. Please submit your homework to me in any day or any time before the next lesson start. Thank you for your participation, attention and cooperation. You guys have done such a brilliant job, your cooperation is very important. Okay, so uh, that is all of my lesson today. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye, take care.